purify my heart Let me be as gold and precious silver Purify my heart Let me be as gold Pure gold Refine as My heart's one desire Is to be
tell him That's what I Righteousness is what I long for. Oh, righteousness is what. Oh, my soul does magnify. 
glorify the Lord. Oh, what my spirit praise his name. Even death could not hold him captive, even in the grave. Jesus is Lord. Oh, my soul. Everybody 
that light to guide us on our way. We are Abraham and Isaac, Felix and Elijah, Moses and Daniel in the lion's den. We are Peter, Paul and Barabbas, waiting for the man. Paul and Barnabas waiting for the master. There's many more that I can see. Then God the glory road. Yes, heaven is now in view. Although the road is rough and tough, Joshua will carry you through. Would you buy the hand over in that? Get on the glory road. Get on the glory road. Heaven is now in the world. Oh, the road is rough and tough. Yes, sure will carry you through. Hold you by your hand over in that great land. Get on the glory road. Yeah. 
joy sing that will be oh, when we all see Jesus we will sing and shout the victory oh, when we all get to heaven what a day of rejoicing that will be Rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus, we will sing and shout the victory. He's straight out of riding, oh Lord, this day is sleeping. Head to a place where we never die. Pilot, oh Lord, oh, will be my Jesus. Head to that mansion where your pin does. This train, this train, this train, this train I'm riding. They say he's leaving. Head to a place where we never die. Oh, and the pilot will be my Jesus. Way up in the sky, oh Lord, so don't be grieving because I'm leaving. And don't you cry when I say goodbye, there'll be no weeping of where I'm going. Head to that mansion, way up in the sky. This train, this train, this train I'm riding They say he's leaving Oh, to a place Where we never die And the pilot Will be my Jesus Head to that mansion Way up in the sky Church of God Oh, don't be grieving Don't you cry when I say goodbye. There be no weeping of where I'm going. To that mansion way up in the sky. Oh, there is no satisfaction without salvation. They say hell be Oh Lord, oh Lord, and you can't go to heaven without salvation. They say hell, V-A-T, I-O, Church of God. Oh, shout it out, shout it out, loud and clear. Oh, they say hell, V-A-T, I-O, oh, shout it out, shout it out. Loud and clear, they say hell and V-A-T, I-O, oh Lord, oh Lord, grab his red house upon the train, I see before them lay, the Lord reached out his mighty hand, oh Lord, and rolled the sea. Away. Oh, means the whole spirit. Oh, the love that shall spread. We are conquering strength. We will push ahead and roll the sea away. And when I reach. So great, I beg to pray. My heart desires the Savior's will and roll the sea away. And power still is Jehovah. 
Oh Lord, not to stay. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. In glory, hallelujah. He's coming back again. Oh Lord, he's coming back again. He went away not to stay. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. He went away not to stay. He's coming back again. Oh Lord, he's coming back again. Hallelujah, he's coming back again. Oh, don't come searching. If you don't find me, Let's praise the Lord. Come on, give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask you to stand at this moment. I am the resurrection and the life, said the Lord. Ye that believe in me, though ye were dead, yet shall ye live. And whosoever liveth and believe in me shall never die. For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and he shall stand upon the later day upon the earth. And though after my flesh worm destroy this body, yet in my flesh I shall see God. Whom I shall see for myself and not another. For we brought nothing into this world, and certainly we can carry nothing. The Lord give it, and the Lord take. Okay. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise 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 the Lord.
know we are in a mixed feeling, but today we give God thanks for the life of our deceased sister. And my condolence to the family and church brethren. And I pray that the Lord will give you the strength that you need to carry through. And you will recognize that death is appointed unto all. And we know that one day all of us will die. But we need to get ourselves in line that after death we will be with the Lord. But if we are not in line, then we will not be with the Lord. And I pray today that you will be strengthened and encouraged in the word of God. God bless you while I hand it over to the moderator. Praise you. Come on, lift your hands and give God praise. Ah, uh, yes, yes, you are, you, are, you, are, you are asking me, um, what are you saying? This is a funeral service, but I want somebody to lift your hands and give God praise. Hallelujah. The fact that you are here right in, you have more than enough to give God thanks for. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. As our pastor said, it is with mixed feelings that we are here today. Um, it's a bittersweet moment for me, but I'm happy that uh, we're able to minister to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless the Lord. Without any further delay, I just want to offer my condolences to uh, my family. Uh, I'm not going to say the family. My family. Bless the Lord. And I'm sure that God will see you through. To open, we will sing our opening hymn, The Lord is My Shepherd. If you turn to your programs, you'll see um, the song is written there. And of course, the choir will be helping me out. The Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want. He makes me down to lie. In pastor's green, he leadeth me. Quiet waters, my. He lives, he lives. 
Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Bless the Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Bless the Lord. You may be seated. You may be seated just for a moment. Uh, for those of you guys who are coming to this church for the first time, uh, sometimes we refer to as the Stand Up Church. Uh, so not because we're in a funeral service, we're going to give God the praise. Amen? Bless the Lord. And let me just take time out to greet our Pastor Clark, our Pastor Gillis, Deacon Martin, Deacon Poria, bless the Lord, Deacon Martin, Deacon Poria, bless the Lord, and of course the immediate family of my auntie, Euphim Bells Shaw, bless the Lord. I just want to greet each the immediate family, and of course um, her one and only sister, my mother, sitting at the front there. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. God is good. God is good. Bless the Lord. In spite of in spite of all Hallelujah. 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 Check, check, check. Check, 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 check. Yes. That was a breaking transmission. Uh, that's how Satan is here. You try everything to get me down, but guess what? In the name of Jesus, I am more than conqueror. I don't know about anybody else, but I can tell Satan you lose again. Somebody tell him, say, lose again. Yes, yes, yes. Bless the Lord. And as I would have done my greetings already, and I'm happy to see everybody that I'm not familiar with. And I wish all of you had given your life to God. And I hope by the end of this service, you would have given your life to God. Bless the Lord. At this time, we'll have the opening prayer, which will be done by... Our deacon Poria, bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Can I have the congregation please stand? Bow ahead while I pray. The divine God, no Father, the creator of heaven and the one who wake us up this morning, the one who have us in our right mind. O oh God, as we come, O oh God, in this congregation, mighty God, we come, O oh God, to a mixed feeling, mighty God, among us. But Lord, in your name of Jesus, we do lift up your name. We give you thanks and praise, O oh God, because without you, O oh God, we cannot do nothing. We thank you, O oh God, for your blessing upon us, O oh God. Father, we thank you for journeying mercy over each and every one, O oh God, that has come into this funeral service, O oh God. I pray, mighty God, of those mighty God who have not yet accepted you, mighty God. I pray, mighty God, when the word shall come, mighty God, O oh God, they will find, O oh God, the word will find root in somebody's heart today, mighty God. That Lord, that when they leave here, mighty God, will bring blessing to their soul. Father, I pray, God, as we go in, O oh God, on this journey, mighty God. Father, we are not our home, mighty God. But Lord, in your name, mighty God, we commit each and every one, O oh God, under this broken shelter. We pray today, O oh God, O oh Father, that you will take full control over us today, O oh God. Grant us your peace, your joy, mighty God. Father, this whole poor man cry, mighty God. And Father, you delivered him out of all this trouble, mighty God. So Lord, we are here looking to you, mighty God, who is the keeper of mankind, mighty God. I pray today, mighty God, that you will have your divine way within us, O oh God. 
Breathe afresh, O oh God, even upon the family, mighty God, the very family. O oh God, I pray, God, that you will take full control over each and every one, O oh God, this morning, O oh God. Because, Lord, we cannot do nothing on our own. We are depending on you, mighty God, who is the keeper of our life. Mighty God, we look to you, O oh God, because you are our redeemer. O oh God, I pray today, O oh God, that you will rescue, O oh God, for those, mighty God, who have not yet turned their life over to you. I pray, mighty God, at the end of the service, mighty God, they will cry out to you, mighty God. Father, I pray today, O oh God, as we come to celebrate the life of, O oh God, our dear sister. Father, I pray, God, that we look to you, O oh God, because, Lord, one day we shall leave this part of ground, Oh God, but I pray, mighty God, that when we leave, mighty God, this part of ground, oh God, we'll bound for righteousness, mighty God. But I pray today, mighty God, for those who have not yet accept you, mighty God, I pray, mighty God, that they will cry out to you, oh God. I pray they will be a better woman and a better man for tomorrow. Grant us your peace, oh God. Grant us your joy as we look to you, oh God, as our God and our Savior. And say thanks. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you very much, Deacon Poria. Bless the Lord. At this time, uh, the first lesson um, is taken from Job 14, 1 to 14, which will be written, will be read by Damar and Dijan Ellis, grandsons. Oh, great grandsons. Good afternoon, everyone. We will be reading from John 14, verse 1 to 14. Man, is, man that is born of a woman is a few days and full of trouble. He cometh forth like a flower and is cut down. He flee flesh also as a shadow and continues not. And dost thou open thine eyes upon such an one and bringest me into judgment with thee? Who can bring? Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean, not one? Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bonds that he can pass. Turn from him that he may rest till he shall accomplish a, as an Hiring, hiring his day. For there is hope of a tree, if it be cut down, that it will be sprout again, and that the tender branch therefore will not cease. Through the root therefore wax old in the earth and the stock there Thereof die in the ground. Yet though the scent of water it will bud and bring forth boughs like a plant. But man dieth and wasteth, wasteth away ye year. Man giveth up the ghost, and where is he? As the water fail from the sea, and the flood decays, and dread up. So man layeth down, and riseth not till the heavens be no more. They shall stand not awake, nor be raised out of their sleep. 
O oh, that thou wouldest hide me in the grave, that thou wouldest keep me secret until thy wrath bypass, that thou wouldest appoint me and set time and remember me. If a man die, shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come. Bless the Lord. Come on, clap your hands to them again. Bless the Lord. That was the reading from Job chapter 14, 1 to 14. Now we'll have, now we'll have a remembrance which will be done by Errol Lawrence, nephew. So remembrance from Errol Lawrence. Is he here? All right. Uh, God is good all the time. Okay. Uh, life is a journey and um, we are all passing through it. Uh, my aunt was such a, a wonderful lady to me. Kind, loving, caring, everything. Um, words cannot describe. Some of it I, I don't even want to get into it. But um, she was just just good and um i just want to say condolences to the family my family um just keep strong i mean it's it's just a part of life and we all have to pass that way someday so i'll, I'll just be doing uh, two short little songs and then i'll take my seat For the church triumphant is alive and well. Let the church be the church. Let the people rejoice. For we've settled the question. And we made our choice. Let the anthem ring out songs of victory swell for the church triumphant is alive and well. This old ship been through some battles before, storms and tempests and rocks on the shore. Though the hall may be battered, inside it's safe and dry. It will carry its cargo to the port in the sky. Let the church be the church. Let the people rejoice. For we've settled the question. And we've made our choice. Let the anthem ring out. Songs of victory swell. For the church triumphant is alive. Is alive. 
it's alive. Yes, the church, it's alive. And when the church is alive, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. What a God, what a God, what a God. Can I tell you about the power of his name? Come on, church. He has healed the sick. He has raised the dead. What a God, what a God, what a God. I wish have some people who understand. Oh, what a God, what a God, what a God. Oh, hey, can I tell you about the power of this man? Oh, Lord, he has healed the sick. He has raised the dead. What a God, what a God, what a God. Oh, what a God, what a God, what a God. God. Can I tell you about the power of this man? He has healed the sick, he has raised the dead. What a God, what a God, what a God. Oh Lord, what a God, what a God, what a God. Oh, can I tell you about the power of this God? He has healed the sick. He has raised the dead. What a God! What a God! What a God! Hold on, hold on, hold it, hold on. Hold it, hold it, hold it. You see, I don't use this type of sit down kind of thing. I know I see a funeral service today, you know, but we just go ask him if he stand up. Just stand up with me a little bit. Stand Amen. up with me a little bit. Amen. You don't know, understand who me are talking about. I am not talking about Pastor Clark. You, you don't understand. I am not talking about Pastor Gillis. I'm not even talking about myself. I am talking to the man who still the water. You understand? What a God, what a God, what a God. Who can I tell you about the power of this God? Oh Lord, he has healed the sick. He has raised About the power of this God, He has healed the sick, He has raised the dead. What a God! What a God! What a God! Has uh, uh, anybody in the church today have you ever felt sick? Are uh, you just good up on your knee? Uh, all if you don't pray like how Paul and, and Silas pray when they were in prison but you just whisper a word to God Almighty and by the time you come up off of your knee you feel like your burden lifted just lift your hands and give God praise and say oh what a God what a God what a God hey, can I tell you about the power of this God he has raised the dead. What a God! What a God! What a God! He has healed the sick. He has raised the dead. What a God! What a God! What a God! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! We don't left here today. We're going to get to your funeral. No way there. 
Ah, I know the daddy, 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 daddy kind of worship. We all have to understand. Some of you might be wondering why the cock, the just get down the road. Ah, uh, uh, we hope here so. Ah, Auntie Ufim is dead. Condolence to the family. Ah, uh, I am not here to talk about Auntie Ufim. Ha, she already lived her life. I don't want somebody to understand that you are what matters most right now. God bless you. Uh, I, I see you over in the back there. I see a, a, a wonderful lady. Yes. And he is the, she's the counselor caretaker for the New Mills Chester Castle Division. Miss, Miss McLean, can you just raise your hands? Yeah, happy to have you in our midst today. God bless you. Bless the Lord. At this time, of course, we'll be getting some tributes. All right, all right, so we'll be hearing from the Higgins family, followed by Barbara Clark, niece. Then after the New Mills Babuwe Church will come. So we'll come in this order, Higgins family, followed by Barbara Clark, then the New Mills Babuwe Church. Ready? Bless the Lord. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, well, I know you're expecting the family, but I represent the family today. Um, but um, I know I love Thanksgiving services. You know why? Because sometimes we go to funerals and people keep mourning, mourning, as if we have no hope. You know? But you know, the Higgins family want to say, um, dedicate this song to this is song at this time. You know, it's never easy losing someone. It's never easy losing someone. But the good thing about it, the positive side is that, you know, as kids, we can say, thank you, mama. Thank you, grandma. Thank you, great grandma. Because you, you have raised me up. She has raised you up yet, that you are what you are today. So instead of mourning like people without hope, we are saying, thank you, thank you. That's the order to today. Appreciate those of you. Raise me up 
walk on stormy seas I am strong when I am on your shoulders Cause you raise me up to more than I can be You raise me up so I can stand in mountains. You raise me up to walk in stormy seas. I am strong when I am on your shore. Continue to worship the Lord. Come on, worship the Lord. I am the other person that we are not in a dead church. We are alive today. Until you feel is gone. But guess what? We are alive. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. And I just want to tell the family, he'll make a way. Hallelujah. Looking for answers. You need a way out. You've been trapped in the trials. Full of sorrow and doubt. You saw a trickle of sunlight. But you find no Just hold on to God's promises. He said that he'd make a way. Take it down. Looking for answers. You need a way. You've been trapped in the trials Full of sorrow and doubt You saw a trickle of sunlight But you find no escape Just hold on to God's promises he said that he'd make a way. He'd make a way in the middle of nowhere. When it seems no one really cares, he's there by your side. Don't give up, don't give in. He'll make a way right on time. Standing at 
let your red sea no place to go Pharaoh's armies they're closing in they're soon Bless the Lord. 
Bless the Lord. He'll make a way when it seems there's no way. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. We're going to be continuing on our program. Our second lesson will be, um, will be coming from Proverbs 31, verse 35 to 31. This will be read by Karen Butner, Grant, and Nathan Garden, daughter and great-grandson. Afternoon, church. Our lesson is taken from Proverbs 31, verse 25 to 31. Strength and honor are clothing, and she shall rejoice in. She opened her mouth with wisdom and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looks well to the ways of her household and eats not the bread of idleness. Her children arise and call her blessed, her husband also, and by her children arise and call her blessed, her husband also, he praised her. Many daughters have done verilously, but do ex excel them all. Favor is deceit, and beauty is vain. But a woman of French for the Lord, she shall be praised. 31 and last. Give her, Give her the fruit of her hands and her own words. Praise her in her great gates, in the gates. Hands of the reading. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Just want to take time out to acknowledge the presence of Pastor Ro. I apologize, sir. God bless you. Happy to have you. And just a quick correction. I said, um, I acknowledge Miss acknowledge our caretaker as Miss McLean. No, it's because she was my principal and I knew her as uh, Miss Mac, but her name was recently changed. So she is Miles Campbell, and I apologize. And she is my former principal. Bless the Lord. All right, so we'll be getting a selection from, the family, from family members, and then we'll have these tributes. One from Daniel Hutchinson, family friend, and then another from... Dabby and Heaven, family friend. So we'll take them in that order. So selection from family members, then Daniel Hutchinson, followed by Dabby and Heaven. There is coming a day where no heartache shall come, no more clouds in the sky, no more tears to dim the eye. All will be peace forevermore on the what a day, glorious day that will be. What a day that will be when my Jesus I shall see. When I look upon his face.
parting over there, then forever I will be with the one who died for me. What a day, glorious day that will be. What a day. Bless the Lord, Mr. Hutchinson. Pay out to Timmy, can I know if he moves the mic again? This time around is not a very ordinary time we are now living in. And we need to move closer to each other. There was a day when I was growing up, people work what you call partner. Five men a week, and every day somebody will do something. And when you look around, it was not time where you could get work like oh you can't get work now. But everybody have somebody something. Everybody able to feed them family. Today, everybody shut down because you can't go out to get something. People are sicking and dying like how oh, ripe banana drop off a tree. Because what? The food that we are getting, we don't understand that are only the doctor packet and the mag. We are walking for our members of the clergy, moderator, musician, church family, bereaved family, visiting friends. Representative of the Martinary, I say greeting to all in Jesus' precious name. Yes. Miss Euphim Pass, and not long before many of us would be going to, and in no matter we come and cry a laugh. But it's two things that a funeral service produce. It produces sorrow and it produces joy. So don't cry yourself to death. The writer said, don't cry as if we have no hope. For who is alive today have a lot of hope. So I will imply you all, look to Jesus. Because... We were taught the wrong way, and we continue to tread in the wrong way. All that is in the earth that we can see worldwide, according to scripture, was designed and produced by God himself for mankind. But today, not so. 
Everybody they look to politicians to bless them. And it's making a lot of trouble in the world today. Because what people should know and what people should be doing, we are not doing that. Anyway, with Ms. Ufim, I can say for sure, it is a brand name in Jamaica worldwide. The Shah is a brand name. If you're not hearing no name before, you will hear about Hardly Shah. You <laughs> And you will hear about Shah of the Run. So we actually have a brand name. So when I can tell you straight, I don't think in this community of Addington, we have any family is as big as the Shah. If they will outnumber you by 10, so now put up fight with them, you lose already. She was a lady that everybody respect and honor in her community. And uh, when a person is good, now spend the whole day tell you everything with them. Good cover one thing and that's it. She was a good woman. Come from a good family. That even where they were from, a town was created there. What I learned lately, them come from the Shah town. <laughs> So, we honor her and respect and last respect today. So, let me move on now a little further. If we travel the world around, you will notice that people read all kinds of literature. But no literature anyone ever read that ever give the comfort that the Bible gives. So that is one reason, or uh, even more than one, why we should read the Bible. Genesis, the first one, read it with care. God spoken and it was heard. If uh, Exodus is second, you know, lead it, it cost the third. Going up in number four, Deuteronomy 5, the fight for Joshua command the 25th chapter, but the book of Psalms will tell you more. The prophet Isaiah said we should learn them, learn them, and keep them in our mind. In receiving, let me see, time for pleasure, time for business, but no time for Christ the crucified. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. When the trump of God shall sound, and time shall be no more, and the morning breaks eternal bright and fair, when the chosen ones are gathered on the home beyond the shore, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. This is the hope of Euphim Adela Shaw, affectionately called Mama. Selfless you were, kind, the laughter you'd feel being around mama, as some would say, mama miserably, no? but that was how she cared. Mama treated everyone the same. Mama helped to grow me at some point in my life, and for that, I'll forever be grateful. She was a grandmother, a caregiver to all her grandkids, nothing to her like them. No more will we hear the echo of her voice swaying in the wind, especially when she could call out to her grandkids, Akil! Chanan, Reisha, and where them boy them man? Me can't take them, you know. 
And as we reflect on this day, realizing each day we live, that if anything else is certain in this life, it's death. And so I hope and pray we live it to our very best. Mama, God's garden needed some of the best flowers, and you are one of the best. A thousand words won't bring you back, I know because we've tried. Neither will a thousand tears, I know because we've all cried. Death is the last chapter in time and the first chapter in eternity. Death may have taken you away from us, but our hero you will forever be. If you could come back and stay a while just to hear your voice and see your smile. You have left the hurt and many heart heavy. A pain, a golden heart stopped beating, hard, hand, hard, hard, hard working hands at rest. God broke our hearts just to prove he only takes the best. Not one time would Mama Coca not ensure that we all eat. And if there was nothing left, she made something else for herself. Selfless, that's who she was. Who knoweth the power of thine anger? Even according to thy fun, so is thy wrath. So teach us the number of days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Mama, sleep on and take your rest. For in a moment, in the twinkle of an eye, you will rise to meet your God. We'll forever love you, Mama. Goodbye for now until we meet again. Wow, clap your hands for her again. I want everybody to clap their hands. All right, awesome. It's like how you move your hand and like that. So for the ladies, um, you have the purses tucked somewhere away. Just take them out, take them out. And for the gentlemen, take the wallets from your pocket. And if you follow the program, it's that time of the evening. Is it evening? Afternoon. Where, yes, man, I like how we see some people over there, so they move. But um, what happened to these ones? You're not moving. You don't have any purse? You don't have any wallet? All right, just, just check, take them out, take them out. It's at that point where we, you know, collect a little something, something. All right. How many, do we need 10 pounds or uh, we need more? Uh, all right, kind of, um, uh, ushers, ushers, when you're ready to call it, make sure them full up, all right? And um, kind of tell them that um, we don't have any change. All right? So I'm going to ask the choir to help me sing. And I want you to help sing, because when you're singer, you, you, you know you're going in your pocket a little bit deeper. Yes. So I want you to help me sing to look at the program and everybody know the song, you know. He said, This is just what heaven means to me. Alright? So we're going to give with a willing heart a deep purse and deep pocket. Alright? A country where no twilight shadows deepen. An ending day when I will never be. A city where no sun clouds ever gather. Oh, this is just what heaven means to me. What will it be when we get over yonder? And show the throng upon the glassy sea. To greet our loved ones and friends Christ forever. Oh, this is just what heaven means to me. A place where there is no misunderstanding. And from all enmity and stripes we free. No hunt can wait so wounds our hearts are spoken. Oh, this, this is just what heaven means to me. What will it be when we get over yonder? Just whatever it means to me. What 
will it be when we get over yonder and turn the throng upon the glassy sea? We'll meet our loved ones and crown Christ forever. Oh, this is just what heaven needs to be. So what will it be when we get over yonder? The we'll meet our loved ones and crown Christ forever. Oh, this is just what heaven means to me. A country where no twilight shadows deepen. An ending there and as you'll never be. A city where no storm clouds ever gather. Oh, this is just what heaven means to me. So what will it be when we get over yonder? And join the throng upon the glassy sea. We'll meet our love ones and crown Christ forever. This is just what heaven means to me. For what will it be when we get over yonder and join the throng upon the glassy sea? We we'll greet our loved ones and crown Christ forever. Oh, this is just what heaven means to me. So what will it be when we get over yonder and join the throng upon the glassy sea? We will meet our loved ones and can Christ forever. Oh, this is just what heaven means to me. What will it be when we get over yonder? Who will meet the loved ones and crown Christ forever? Oh, this is just what heaven means to me. Oh, this is just what heaven means to me. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Bow your heads where you are. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, I want to thank you for this offering that was collected there, Father God, Lord, and I pray that this may do the work of thy ministry there, Father God. Bless each and everyone that had to give. Bless those who did not have to give there, Father God, and I pray that their baskets may never go empty. Bless God and protect while we say thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Lord. Bless the Lord. Lord. Bless the Lord. God is worthy to be praised. Moving on on our program, I'm seeing open tributes, bless the Lord, and I'm seeing M. Jackson and also Miss Douglas. So that's M. Jackson and Miss Douglas. Uh, hold on there, I see some, hold on, hold on, hold on a little bit, I see some more money coming. Anybody have, no, no, hold on. Come back with the pan, the brother, come back, come back with the pan. Hold it, hold on, pan it, darling. I uh, couldn't take up no more offering. Anybody else before I collect this one? Is there anybody that depended? Uh, nice. Thank you very much. Oh, hold on. Sorry, my darling. Sorry, day, sorry. Day. M. Jackson, get yourself ready. I saw somebody hold up there and over here. Thank you. Thank you very much, my sister. Is there anybody else that depended didn't reach to you? Just hold it up right now. I'll take it to you. Anybody else? Uh, I guess that's it. All right. Uh, if you ever miss no more this again, you see? You want me to pray for it again? Probably the prayer was nice. You want me to pray one more time to see if anybody else? Uh, all right. God bless it in Jesus' name. All right. Continuing with the program. 
M. Jackson. Are you named M. Jackson? He uh, did put no money in our friend pan? He put money in there? You put money in there? All right, okay, I'm going then. Shall we bless the Lord? Shall we bless the Lord? God is good. And all the time, God is good. We are here with mixed feelings today. Although we are mourning, we are in a funeral service. But we have life. Bless the Lord. Look here, Pastor, when the banner play, everybody dancing. You know. Bless the Lord. Okay, thank you very much. On behalf of the band and myself, I'd like to extend condolences to the family in Jesus' name. The world was this way before I came along and it may not get better by the time I am gone but if I have a part of what I am passing through it's a song from my heart Lord to sing about you for I love you Jesus and I love your name it's been a long time ago I'm glad you others can go on doing what they want to do but it makes me happy to sing about you oh I've tasted some teardrops Many heartache and pain have searched for the rainbow. It was only in vain. Her life was so empty, so lonely and so blue. It's a song from my heart, Lord, heard to sing about you. Oh, for I love you, Jesus, and I love your name. It's been a long time ago. And I'm glad you came So that others go on Doing what they want to do But it makes me happy To sing about you For it makes me happy to sing about you. Douglas.
every someone and all it takes is for you to know is that God is the answer and God Every trial, every mountain and sea, and he sees every teardrop, and he wipes them from me. I get down on my knees, and I say, Savior, help me, please. God answers prayer. You may be broken and feel battered, but your strength will surely come in the midst of all your your battles already won. In the hard times, don't give up, don't say you're done, because God is the answer, and God answers prayers, He sees every weakness, every trial, every mountain. And he wipes them from me. Just get down on your knees and say, Savior, help me, please. One thing is for certain is God. One thing is for certain is that God answers prayer. Bless the Lord. At this time, another open tribute will be coming from Rosemary Emmons. Um, Rosemary Emmons, followed by remembrance from, is this Samoy? Is that your brother? Sam, oh, Sham, oh, yes. Shamoy and Vanessa, granddaughters. So, um, Rosemary Emmons. Followed by remembrance. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise Lift your hands and praise the Lord. Praise I am not from Hopewell. I am from Lucy. But my chef, whose grandmother is, is the deceased, he has asked me to do an item for him. So I hope and trust that you will get a blessing as I sing. The things that I love and hold dear to my heart they are borrowed they are not mine at all Jesus own let me use them to brighten my life so remind me remind me dear Lord I feel like doing that one more time oh the things that I love and hold dear to my heart they are just borrowed they are not mine 
time at all. Jesus only let me use them to brighten my life. So remind me, remind me, dear Lord. Roll back the curtains of memories. Hey, show me where you brought me from and where I could have been. Oh, remember, I'm human, I'm human. Forget, so remind me, remind me, dear Lord. Nothing good have I done to deserve God's own son. I said I'm not worthy of the scars in his hand. Yet he chose the road to Calvary to die in my stead. Why he loved me Church, I can't understand. Yeah, roll back those curtains of memories. Oh, Lord, show me where, where you brought me from and where I could have been. I said, remember, Lord, that I'm human, oh, I'm human. We sometimes forget, so remind me, church, remind me, dear Lord. Nothing good have I done to deserve God one son. I said I'm not worthy of the scars in his head. Yes, he chose the road to Calvary to die in my stead. I said why he loved me, I just can't understand. I feel like doing that one more time. I said, nothing good have I done to deserve my God one son. I'm not worthy of the scars in, in his hand. Yet he chose the road to Calvary to die in my stead why he loved me why he loved me church I can't understand yeah roll back the curtains of memories oh Show me where you brought me from and where I could have been. Oh, remember, I'm human. I said I'm human. We sometimes forget. So remind me. I said remind me. So remind me, remind me, dear Lord. Hallelujah. Come on.
Come on, church of God, keep the praise going. Clap your hands and give God praise. Roll back the curtains. Now and then, show me where you brought me from and where I could have been. Hallelujah. Somebody needs to understand the message in that song. Remember, I am human. Hallelujah. And human forget. So remind me. Remind me. Remind me. Roll back. Come on, church of God. The hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, I wish I had some person to understand uh, what it means uh, to look where you are coming from uh, and where you could have been. Uh, uh, God Almighty, uh, somebody right you off. Somebody thought you would not make it. Uh, little did they know uh, that the God that we serve uh, is the God of heaven uh, and earth. Hallelujah. So somebody needs to understand. Uh, somebody needs to get it in their spirit. Uh, Somebody needs to understand that we should roll back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, church of God. Hallelujah. Roll back the curtains of memories. No one then. Show me where. Show me where. You should have been dead. You should have been buried. Show me where. Show me where ha, they write you off. Ha, ha, they tell lies on you. Ha, show me where. Show me where you brought me from. And where Hallelujah. 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 One more time. Oh. you Jesus we bless your name Jesus hallelujah Somebody, just clap your hands and give God praise 
Ah, he deserves it. He deserves it. He deserves it. Hallelujah. Wonderful singing. Miss Emmons, God bless you. Remembrance from Samoy and Vanessa. Bless the Lord. to share a little story or memory of her early grandmother, Euphim Adela Shaw, or as we'd like to call her mama, was a woman of strength, one who could be relied on, and one who played every role in the household we could think of. Grams Morgan once said, if you give a little more than you take, if you try to fix more than you break, if you're the kind who takes the time to help a stranger in the rain, then there's a place for people like you. And that's how we viewed our mama. Mama was kind. She was one who always liked to share or give away her last. If a guest or even a stranger came to visit or was simply passing through, she would ensure that if it was even a cup of water, that person would have to have before they go. Our favorite parts of her kindness and sharing nature were on Sunday evenings. When everyone finished their Sunday dinner, she made sure that a portion of hers was left back. And in the night before bed, if five of her grandchildren were there, best believe, Mama was splitting that left over in five parts and every mouth is being fed. It was like our Sunday night routine with her and one we enjoyed very much. Mama was also our protector. As young as we were back then, I can remember an instance where our parents had taken us with them to the river to do some washing. At the time, Mama was not home, but as soon as she arrived home and did not see us, she made her way to the river in a fit of rage and exclaimed, come, give him a grand pitney them. And on our way, we went home. Mama was also a storyteller. She always had plenty stories of her childhood days and even ones of her older days to tell us. And when she was telling her stories and reminiscing on her good old days, Despite the number of times she told those stories, they would still be as funny as if it was her first time telling them. There were points in her stories that amused her to no end, and she would often burst into a fit of laughter and say, Woy, me ma dear Zisha did and gone. And that would have all us cracking up. Mama was the best grandmother anyone could ask for. Am I right? Yes. Right. Sleep on Adela, we miss you dearly. R.I.P. Mama. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. That them story they kinda sound familiar still. Me my dear that sound really, really familiar. It's something I'm familiar with. I can tell you that. The loose lady, and she, uh, I think she's here. <laughs> See, I, I want you to, I want you to take it down a little bit because um, I want the loose lady to hear, and I'm, and I'm not sure if she heard what was said a while ago. Um, so, Madam Lucy lady, yes, I know your, I know your name, you know. But I'm going to call you the name. Lucy Lady, the gentleman in the independent shirt. The green Jamaica shirt. You see? Him say you must see him after the show. After the show, him say no. After the show? All right. See him after the show. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. God is good. God is good. And all the time, God is good. Bless the Lord. Of course, at this time, we're moving to the part where we'll be hearing from the man of God. Bless the Lord. And, uh, I, I, you know, normally I would say, 
Oh, your church is there. Oh, I apologize. So, all right, before the speaker come, there was a tribute that was missing when I was told that the church is here. So this time we'll be hearing from the New Mills Bible Way Church. Everybody, praise the Lord. Everybody, praise the Lord. You know me. I have to come to a funeral today because you see, Miss Yofi in Pitney. Them, may I tell you, them manners lit to me, especially to the, the two boys. They call me mama. Me and them are good friends. We come like brother, we are brother and sister. All pansy, Lord of mercy. Me and them move good. So, me, I feel come here today. Come speak right. Praise the Lord, everybody. Lord. Come in like we did at church, same way. Yes, I'm going to sing a little song. Yes, you know, when Jesus steps out and the cloud to call his children, the dead in Christ shall rise. Eyes to meet him in the air And those that remain Those that remain Shall be quickly changed At the midnight cry At the midnight cry, we'll be going home. Oh, when Jesus steps out and the cloud to call his children, the dead in Christ shall rise. Eyes to meet him in the air And those that remain Those that remain Shall be quickly changed At the midnight the midnight cry will be going home every one of us will be going home miss you film your children then go to see their mother again don't worry about don't fret yourself darling no comfort on yourself just bear up god going to see you too in jesus name praise god Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, that the midnight cry will be going home. This time we'll be hearing from the man of God, which is the host pastor, Pastor Lowell Clark. I want you to, you know, turn your cups up, bless the Lord. And if your cup is already filled, then you be, should be drinking from your saucers. Bless the Lord. At this time, we'll be hearing from Pastor Clark. But before Pastor Clark, you'll be hearing from the choir. After the choir, the next voice you'll hear is that of our Pastor Clark. Stand to welcome him in Jesus' name. God bless you. Choir. Hallelujah. Are you still here? Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the dark of the midnight Have I often hid my face While the storm howls above me And there's no hiding place With the grass of the thunder for 
precious Lord, hear my cry, keep me safe till the storm passes by. In the dark of the midnight, have I often hid my face? While the storm howls above me And there's no hiding place With the crash of the thunder Precious Lord, hear my prayer Keep me safe till the storm Till the storm passes over and the thunder sounds no more, till the cloud rolls forever from the sky.
today to speak to you because sometimes the only funeral service you can speak to some people and I don't have anything right down here but I know that the Lord will have a word for you today amen somebody amen somebody and I pray today that when the word go forth you will make a step towards Jesus Christ because um what I want us to understand we don't take it serious that the coming of the Lord is near. We don't take it serious when somebody died and realize that it appointed unto man once to die. But after that, then comes the judgment. When a person dies, they just go to sleep 
for a while. You know when you go to sleep and when you wake up, it's like morning come. Not true. So when you, um, even thousands of years that people died and gone, it's like they're just sleeping. Amen, somebody. So we may, who are alive here, we may look and say, boy, that person died for such long time. But they don't know what is going on like you today, don't it? They? they are dead. But I'm telling you today, you have hope. Amen. You have a hope today to make Jesus Christ your own. I'm just want to honor the moderator today, our Deacon Harvey, our Pastor Gillis, our Deacon Poirier, praise the Lord, our Pastor Rowe in our midst and all the, the other official. I just want to greet you in the name of Jesus, our choir, our musician. I just want to greet you, our family member. Praise the Lord. I pray that God will strengthen you, that you can able to stand. And I hope, you know, you're not crying if you weren't doing good to your mother. It don't make sense you cry today. Amen? Grandchildren and, and children. But today is a blessed day. Praise the Lord. And it's a day that, praise the Lord, God have made. It's the same day. And today we want to honor him and give him thanks. In spite of all you are feeling, mixed, having mixed feeling today. But um, God is saying all in all of this, you will have joy. Amen, somebody. The preacher preached yesterday, speak about joy. And today, you know, it, um, you need the comfort of the Lord in your lives. Amen. Man will... Try to comfort you. And man comfort can't just reach thus far. But the comfort of the Lord is that great comfort. Amen somebody. And we are here today and you are seeing us jumping and dancing and we feel excited. Don't it? It's a joy that is unspeakable. It is full of glory. Hallelujah. So the man out there may drink and, and smoke and feel good. Amen, somebody. I was out there you know, and I drink too. And you know, when you drink, you feel good. Not too sweet. But when you are in Jesus, hallelujah, somebody. It's a joy. Hallelujah, somebody. You don't stop there. Hallelujah, somebody. When you're at your workplace, when you are on everywhere you are, it's a joy in your soul today. Hallelujah. Um, I want to speak to you today and realize that there, there is a life beyond this life. And young people, middle aged people, don't recognize it. The only few people who desire to follow the Lord, and you know, you have some going to church too. Now recognize it too. Amen. Because what? If they recognize the fullness of the Lord, you, have, you would see the change and the difference. Because the word of God says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Because what? All things are passed away. So sometimes you see some people not showing the, the goodness and the joy of God. And showing the glory of God. It means that something is wrong with them. Amen. But you have some genuine people that will follow the Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. And you can see and recognize that that person is going somewhere. And you need to follow that person, don't you? Praise the Lord. I'm going down in the scripture and wherever the Lord lead me. I'm Deuteronomy 30. I'm going to look at verse 19 and 20. Praise the Lord. And then I will speak to you. Praise the Lord according to all the Lord want me to say to you today. Amen. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. That I have set before you life and death. Blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. Hallelujah. That thou mayest love the Lord thy God and that thou mayest obey his voice and that thou mayest cleave unto him for he is thy life and thy length of 
days that thou mayest dwell in the land. Hallelujah, somebody. God have set before us life and death. Life and death is set right before you. So it's a choice for you to make to follow the Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. It's a choice for you to obey the command of Almighty God. The world today is set in a way that it seems like everything that is going on is okay. Hallelujah. Some man feeling himself that everything that I am doing is right. Hallelujah, somebody. But a man weighs in his right in his own eyes. Until you know the Lord, then you will know what is right in the sight of God. Hallelujah, somebody. So the devil um, is here fooling a lot of people. He didn't have me fooled just the same. But praise be to God. Hallelujah. I acknowledge Jesus Christ my Savior. And he opened my eyes. That I can recognize and see that the devil is a liar. He is a deceiver. He decided to kill me. To kill you. So people going around today. Living any and any dirty life. And think that oh I am good. As long as I love you then I'm okay. But what kind of love you are talking about? Hallelujah, somebody. When you have the love of God within you, there is a change. There is a difference about you. There is a life that is accepted in the sight of God. Hallelujah, somebody. So God said, I call heaven and earth. To record this day that I have set before you life and death. The angel is here witnessing that he has set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. And God is saying, choose life. Why do you think we come to church? Why do you think people go to church? We don't go to church because we just go to church because we have clothes to wear. Yes, we know that there is a God to be served. There is a God in heaven and he commands us a way that we should worship him. Because it's said in his word, they that worship me. Must worship me in spirit and in truth. So God wants people to worship him in spirit and in truth. So if you're not doing worshiping God, you have your people said, oh, I praise God every day. I pray every day. I sing every day. But who are you singing to? It may be hot. It may be harsh. But we need to understand that the devil allow you to think that you can pray to God. But you have to go to Jesus Christ. Come on somebody. You cannot just step up to God. The devil is a liar. Yes, the way is open, but you have to acknowledge Jesus Christ. You have to pass through Jesus Christ that you can know the Father. So sometimes the devil lets you know, oh, I pray this morning, and every morning I get up and I pray and I sing. That is not enough. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I said that is not enough. When your life has to be changed, you have to give over your life to God that he can work on your behalf. So the devil have you in a corner and think because you pray this morning. Think because you open your Bible this morning and you read a scripture. You read a Psalms. You think, yes, I am on my way to glory. The devil is a liar. From the beginning, he is a liar. He went into the garden of Eden. When God had placed two persons in it, Adam and Eve. Hallelujah, somebody. And God have set a command and give it to them and said, um, you should not eat of this fruit, of, the, of the, um, the tree of good and knowledge. Evil. And the devil come in. 
Let me tell you something. The devil is a deceiver. And you can't know him until you acknowledge Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He went in to the woman. And tell the woman. Say God. God I trick you. God don't want you to know. Good and evil. So he went to the woman. And allowed the woman to eat of the fruit. Come on somebody. And tell the woman that you shall not surely die. That is what God the devil is telling you today. That you shall not surely die. It don't matter what life you live. Let me tell you something. You have to live a life that is acceptable in the sight of almighty God. For you to inherit eternal life. Hallelujah. God called you to holiness. God called you to righteousness. He have said it before you today that you can choose life. It's not just this life alone. But let me tell you something. He's coming back again. And he's coming back with his hand full of reward. It don't matter how long that person die. It don't matter when that person die and they burn him. And, 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 and scatter the, the ash in the sea. He's coming back. Hallelujah. And that's a, oh hallelujah. That body that scatter in the sea. It will come back and form flesh to face the judgment of almighty God. Come on somebody. You need to understand that God said before you life and death blessing and cursing and God wants you to live so he said choose life God desire mankind to live that's why when Adam fell hallelujah and sin come upon man and death pronounced upon man God have made a way for man to live again hallelujah Glory! God has made a way out for man to live again. So the bread of God, God sent his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. People are saying, especially the young men nowadays, men don't want to come to church. I don't know what the devil do to them, but they rather stay out. They rather stay in their corner and smoking their ganja and drinking their rum and think that, okay, they are nice and they are sweet. But there is a day coming, young men, young women, there is a day coming. And it's near at hand. Hallelujah. The word of God said, he that have an ears to hear, let him hear what the spirit said. Come on somebody, you need to listen to the word of God that your life can be changed. God called you to holiness, he called you to righteousness. God don't want you to live any any dirty life. He wants you to live a life that pleases him, that you can live again. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. He's coming back with his hand full of reward. So he is giving out his warning. He sent some prophets, some preachers, some teachers for praise the Lord to help you on your way that you can acknowledge him and understand, hallelujah, that he loves you and desire to save you. When Jesus was going away, he said, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and I will receive you unto himself. Come on, somebody. If you want to go there, you have to get yourself prepared. Hallelujah. Get yourself fixed up. Hallelujah. Come out of your fornication life. Come out of your adultery life. Come out of your lying life. Hallelujah. Come out of the life with man with man and woman with woman come on somebody and come to the Lord that you can have life and have it more abundantly he said he is your life so while you are living while you are sharing the body that God will allow you to achieve the same body that you have is God give it to you and you are sharing it with 
the devil. He said, I am a consumed fire. Yes, he is a loving God. Sometimes you hear people, oh God, loving, and, 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 and then we talk about this God. Yes, he is a loving God, but yet he is a dreadful God. Don't think that you have some preacher, you know, them pretty up the things and tell you how I, I, I was listening to a preacher sometimes ago and he said there's going to be surprise in heaven. There will be no surprise in heaven because if you don't set the example, if you don't live the life, I will not surprise. If you are living the life, hallelujah, it cannot be hidden. Jesus said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good work and to glorify your Father which is in heaven. So if you are living a life, it cannot, hide. It cannot hide. Somebody must see it. Hallelujah, the devil must see it. If me not see it, the devil see it. Come on, somebody. I say, if you don't see it, the devil see it. So when you change the devil, start to run after you. Because he want to, you know you have some jealous man, not you. When the woman, somebody woman left the man, the man not start run down the woman. Come on somebody, hallelujah. Oh, the woman make, make a change in her life. As, as, as so when you make a change, the devil not start run you down. But when God have you, Come on, somebody. No one can pluck you out of his hand. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I don't know why you're afraid to give yourself to God. I don't know why people are afraid to give their life to God. He's sending his word. He is your life. And the length of days. So how you enjoying you enjoying yourself. God sitting watching you. Amen, somebody. Giving yourself over to the devil. Taking the devil, having control of your life. It is full time. You tell the devil, enough is enough. I have a God who never fail. Hallelujah, somebody. I have a God. And that don't mess. Obey his voice. God wants you to obey. Nothing God will come down and talk to you. Come on, somebody. God have his servant here to talk to you. Amen, somebody. God said his people to talk to you. That you can change from your wretched life. That you can able to walk in the way of God. Hallelujah, somebody. Walk in his way. Hallelujah. Pleasing in his sight. Praise the Lord, look respectable. Look here, let me tell you something. When you are in Christ, you are, even your looks change. I wish somebody will understand what I'm saying. He said, I will beautify the make with salvation. Look at some of us. Some of us were so ugly because sin tie we up. But Jesus loose us. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You ever have a goat or some animal and them tie up, not getting enough feed. And when they you then get loose, come on, somebody. They start to get fat up and look good. Hallelujah. Some of the young ladies now and young men, when they were out there, nobody didn't want them. But now they are in Jesus, looking good. Hallelujah. The devil, they run down them, want to destroy them. Come on, somebody. But the devil is a liar. When he speaks, he speaks a lie. He's a liar from the beginning. And the only way you can know his device is when you are in Christ. Is when the Holy Ghost is inside of you. So you have people that go to church but no Holy Ghost. No fire. Hallelujah somebody. God call heaven to record this day that I have set before you life and death. Blessing and cursing. And God is a choose life man. 
choose life. I want you to live. Oh, I, I, I want you to change. Choose life. So sometimes if you have to give up the man, give up the man. For God's sake. If you have to give up the woman, give up the woman. For God's sake. Come on somebody. He said forsake all. He said take up the cross and follow me. Come on somebody. He said my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Come on to me. All in and all labor and I have laid it. Sin is a burden. Sin, praise the Lord, will bring you to death. Because the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Come on somebody. Accept him. Change your ways. Miss Yufin can't do it if she never do it. You have the opportunity. Hallelujah, you have, you are on top of your grave to make a choice. Come on somebody, if you only if you suck sugar green, suck it. Come on somebody. Because some of you are depend on the man. Some of you they depend on the woman. But depend on God. Hallelujah, depend on God. Because God is your life. The Bible said, what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? What can a man give in exchange for his soul? There is nothing you can give in exchange for your soul. Why waste in your soul to hell when you can get life? Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. We say salvation is free. But Jesus suffered on the cross for it. He paid the price. You know, somebody pay off your debt. But you still want to live in debt. I don't, I can't understand. Somebody pay it off that you can live. But yet you want to still live in your debt. Sin will bring you to death. The Bible says, all unrighteousness is sin. Come on, somebody. God called you today to holiness and to righteousness. Because what? He loved you and wanted to live. So don't talk to me, love God. You hear people say, me love God. Show me how you love God. Amen? Show me how you love God. If you love somebody, you will give out yourself to that person, don't it? Come on, some answer me, man. If you love somebody, you will show them that you love them. You see, this mouth, it can talk a lot of things, but it's the action. Come on, somebody. God want the action. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God wants you to love him in action. Show me that you love him. You love me in action. He said, if you love me, keep my commandment. When you talk about it, some people vex. You know, when you talk about commandment, some people vex. But he said, if you love me. If you love me. Keep my commandment. Hallelujah, somebody. So if we want to love God, we have to obey his command. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. I say, God call you to life. So you have no excuse. You have no excuse. You can't tell him at the last day. God, because me have one man, and why me couldn't have left the man because of the man when they sustain me. Oh God, because me love that woman, but why? Oh, but when dead come, you can't call dead and say, wait a while. You can't tell that, wait a while. When death is coming, you can't shut your door. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. 
We need to recognize the seriousness of dying without Jesus Christ in your life. We wake up every day and see people die and we just think it's a norm. It's a norm for a person to die, yes. But there is no Jesus in many of these persons that is dying. They don't know anything about God. We reach into a time now when people not even want to send their children to know anything about God. Let me tell you something. He's coming back with his hand full of reward to pay every man according to their works. So don't think your prettiness or your good looks or your charm can change God. God will make you so you can charm him. Come on somebody, hallelujah. It don't matter who you are. It don't matter what category you are in. When God called you, you have to move. So we need to recognize the seriousness of dying without Jesus Christ in your life. It is dead sentence. Die and dead again. Come on somebody. You die and go in the grave. And after you die and go in the grave, you will resurrect for eternal fire. People don't want to hear about this. But eternal fire will take you if you don't change your life before death. Look now, little, little coheat. I said little coheat. With a bar, with a great AC. Everybody know they get AC. Inverter AC when they burn much current. Can run every day, but no AC, no dung a hell. And if even AC dung, they can't stop it because it brimstone and fire. Come on, somebody. God promise know that he will not destroy this earth again with water. So God put a rainbow. Don't you see sometimes it's a rainfall? You see a rainbow? Is a sign that God said, I will not destroy her again with water, but with fire. And this fire never made for mankind. It was made for the devil and his angel. But if you want to go there, fine. You see, normally when God is going to destroy a city, he always said warning. Sometimes some people dead. It's a warning for the preacher to talk to you. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Because some of you not come to church until somebody dead. So the only way God can get you is somebody have to die. That he can talk to you. Come on, somebody. And God wants you. God, look here. Sometimes you get some dream. Not you. Sometimes you get some dream. God is calling you, but you're so stubborn. Sometimes you pass through some, some death, some danger, and God deliver you out of it. But let me tell you something. Sometimes God calling dangerous. Sometimes God cripples some people in the calling. Come on, somebody. And sometimes God they call you and you drop down dead. So he said in, your, in his word, if you hear his voice, harden at your heart. The rain is falling. So I'm not going to stop until the rain is falling. You can't go outside now. God want, you see God good, you know. God wants you to hear. Hallelujah. God wants me to hammer it in your ears. So open your ears and listen. The word of God says, oh, lift your voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression on the house of Israel. Their sins. I tell you, God loves you and desire to change your life, to save you. 
God no want you to burn you. God no want to destroy you. But if you want to get yourself destroyed, it's up to you. Look here. Young people. Middle age, especially middle age people. I don't know where you're waiting on. Middle age people. You see some middle age people. A boyfriend. But I'm a boyfriend. Look here. When a young somebody can't say I'm a boyfriend. But when I'm middle age, I'm a boyfriend that. Look here. Come to consciousness. Come to reality. And understand that God is God. You have no young people nowadays, they're married. You have some people nowadays, married have teeth. I don't know when married get teeth. But the Bible speaks of these things. Not in the last days. Hallelujah, somebody. Man don't want to marry. Live your nasty life. Miss a nasty life. A nasty life. Me not pretty up nothing. Because when you're pretty up, people think, say, oh, it's all right. It is not right in the sight of Almighty God. And if it's not right in the sight of Almighty God, hallelujah. The Bible said, when Lot was in Sodom and Gomorrah, they were doing all type of nastiness. Man with man. Woman with woman. All type of nastiness. The Bible said it vexes his righteous soul. I don't know who, if you're a Christian and your, your soul not feel vexed when you see certain things happening. Something is wrong with you. You're not changed yet. Hallelujah. <clears throat> so to the time, what is happening today? Some of these things six my stomach. We need to understand and get the reality of righteousness and holiness. The devil want, not, don't want you to see these things. The devil have you under control. And you will say, oh, me. The devil not have me. Eh? Many times people say, no, man. I got me to serve. No, the devil not have me. No, the devil not use me. But let me tell you something, he's using you. He's using you as his toy. Hallelujah. Just like a little child play with the dolly and fling the dolly up and down. Not you. Fling the dolly over there, fling the dolly. I saw the devil have you. Flinging you up and down. But when you come to Jesus, when you come to Jesus, hallelujah, he have you, he's, he hold you in the palm of his hand. Hallelujah. It don't matter what you have done before. Hallelujah. It don't matter if you murder, if you kill, what, woman, what amount of man you did have, what amount of woman you did have. When you come to Jesus, he promised that he will forgive you. Amen, somebody. So it don't matter if church people are, yeah, some church people no Lego things. But it don't matter if church people no forgive you. As long as God forgive you, you are well forgiven. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. God is calling. He's calling you to life. He's telling you to choose life. The opportunity is here for you today to choose life. Don't go back to your whole nasty life. I'm telling you, because none of you, none of us know the minute when we step outside, death will come in the midst. Amen? Tell, let me see the hands of those who know when they're going to die. If you know when you're going to die, then you can do what you feel like doing. But if you don't sure, praise the Lord. It don't matter a funeral service but we can pray with you at the altar. If you desire to come, we will pray for you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because what, whatever God desire, he said, when one sinner repent, the angel in heaven rejoice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if you repent today, the angel in heaven will rejoice. It don't matter what man or woman want to say. Paul, when Paul get it, Paul say, I am not ashamed. 
of the gospel of Christ because it is the power of God and to salvation. God bless you. The rain ease up so I can ease up. Praise the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Uh, there's only one thing I'm going to say. He that have a hear, hears to hear, let him hear. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. At this time, we'll be hearing from Mr. Nigel Cunningham. He'll be coming with the eulogy. Good afternoon, church, to the bereaved family. You are hurting now, but your morning is coming. Just hold on to Jesus and ride out your storm. It is with heavy hearts that we as family, friends, and well-wishers of this community Haddington, New Mills, and other communities across Jamaica come together in the presence of God to find peace. Together, we now recognize the pain, sorrow, and deep emotion that death brings. Death is cruel. It robs the family of loved ones. Eulogy for the life of Yuffie Adela Shaw, also known as Yuffie or Bells. Yuffie Shaw was born on June 29, 1936, to mother Daisy Shaw and father Roland Shaw, also known as Baroli, now both deceased. At Shawtown, Haddington, in the parish of Hanover. In the early years of her life, she attended the Watford Hill Elementary School in this parish. On leaving school as a young woman growing up in the community, she started learning sewing in order to acquire a skill. She also was engaged in domestic work. She later met Oswald Buckner. And let me pause to say that Oswald Buckner was one of my favorite uncles outside of Cotch and Watch. The common law union between herself and Oswald produced six children, three boys and three girls. She also had two daughters prior to that union The union produced six children, three boys, and three girls. She also had two children before, Lurleet and Olga, also a stepson, Buster. Cousin Yufi, as we call her, tried her endeavor best to raise her children very well. She often said, and I quote, me would have preferred me picking them dead. Let me repeat that. Me would have preferred me picking them past the worst before me dead. Me can always dead after them past the worst. And so say, so done. Notwithstanding, she was predeceased by one of her sons, Leeford. The children can all attest to that saying by their mother. As the years rolled on, she raised and kept the family 
in a closely knit union. Her children describe her as fun-loving, caring, and a jovial individual. Her common-law husband, Oswald, eventually predeceased her in 1996. Euphim would at times attend church, this very church, not as often as one would have liked. However, she do so when she could. In recent years, she became ill, and sometime in 2017, the illness impacted her so severely that most of her physical activities were curtailed. She remained ill over the years and bedridden at home until she got worse and was taken to the hospital where she died on July 8, 2023. She leaves to mourn seven children, Lurleet, Olga, Maverick, also known as Bog, CB, Ainsley, Marie, Pansy, and Karen. Also, stepson, Buster. Or is it Jephthah? 14 grandchildren, 13 great-grandchildren, one sister, Altia, she's sitting, she was sitting right here. She's over there. Nieces, nephews, and other relatives, and a host of friends. She will be sadly missed. May her soul rest in peace and light perpetual shine upon her. Pansy has asked me to sing this song as if it was my mom who had passed on. So I'll, I'll try my endeavor best to do this song for her. If the musicians are going to join me, I need to hear my voice. Well, good morning, Jesus. Oh, yes, it's me again. But I didn't call this time to get forgiveness for my sins. I called to talk to mama and I know she's there with you. If there's a phone in heaven, then Jesus put me through and give me one more chance to tell her that I love her. Oh, let me hear her sweet voice one more time for I want her to know how much I'm thinking of her if there's a phone in heaven Put my mama on the line. All those things I should have told her when I still had the chance. But one day, Lord, you took her with no warning in advance so i'm begging now please give me 
One last opportunity If there's a fall in heaven Let my mama talk to me And, and give me one more chance To tell her that I love her Oh let me hear Her sweet voice One more time For I want her To know How much I'm Thinking of her If there's a fall in heaven, put my mama on the line. Oh, if there's a fall in heaven, put my mama on the line. Thank you, Mr. Cunningham. At this time, we're just going to ask the family members to remain seated. And I'm going to ask the congregation to stand while Pastor Gillis will pray the prayer for the bereaved family. So again, we want to ask the family members to remain seated and the congregation to stand while Pastor Gillis will pray. Clap your hands and give God a praise, everybody. Wave your hands and give God a praise, everybody. Glory to God, eternal God and our Father, we thank you for this, another great day which you have given us. Lord, as we come celebrating the life of your handmaid, God, we thank you for the life which she has lived. Lord, I present the bereaved families before you this day. I pray, mighty God, that you may rem remind them that you are still a bridge over troubled water. I pray you may remind them, Lord, that you are still their hope for tomorrow. Lord, I pray you may remind them, Lord, that you are still the Jehovah Jireh. God, I pray you may hold their hands and guide their feet. Mighty God, those in the family that have not yet known you as Lord, I pray you may speak in their spirit, speak in their hearts. Lord, let them come to the full knowledge to understand that they need a friend before the time of too late. I pray, mighty God, that you may have your divine way with this family. Spread your wings over them. Oh, mighty God, bless their going out and their coming in, mighty God. Remind them, mighty Lord, oh God, that you are still Israel deliverer. I pray, God, that you may count you bless them, mighty God, the grandchildren and children, mighty God, and the great-grand, and the entire family. I pray, God, that you may spring your, spread your wings over them and let your perfect will be done in their lives. We say thanks for what you are doing right now, and we praise in advance for that which you are about to do. And we say thanks for everything that is said and done. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Just listen to these instructions. So we're going to ask you to remain seated while the rest of my associates will march down and uh, we will sing the recessional song. But we're going to take the benediction first. All right. So we're going to take the benediction. And the benediction is Psalms 19 verse 14. Stand with me, please. And Psalms 19 verse 14. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. God bless you. Um, song, choir. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing his mercy. And his grace in the mansion bright and blessed hill. Prepare for us a place. Oh, when we all get to heaven, what
what a day of rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus. We will sing and shout the victory while we walk the pilgrim pathway. Clouds will overspread the sky. But the traveling days are over. Not a shadow, not a sign. Oh, when we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. Sing and shout the victory. Let us then be true and faithful. Just one every day. Just one glimpse of Him in glory. Will the toil of life repay? Christ before us, soon his beauty will be all. Soon the pearly gates will open, we shall tread the streets of gold. Oh, when we all get to heaven, what a day! On the far western, this a beautiful home, home of the soul. Oh, built by Jesus and I, they will never shall die in the land where we never go King. 
Bring friend your tender mercies like a river with no end it overwhelms me covers my sin each time I come into I stand in wonder once again. Your grace still amazes me. Your love still a mystery each day. Thank you for your forgiveness. Doesn't matter how far I've gone, 
Your grace is always enough. It'll always reach far enough for me. Hallelujah. I'm forgiven because you were forsaken. I'm accepted. You were connected. Verse again, I'm forgiven. I'm forgiven because we were forsaken. I'm accepted. You were condemned. I'm alive. I'm alive. The Spirit is within me because.
as gold and precious silver purify my heart let me be as gold pure gold refine as to be holy, set apart for you, Lord, I choose to be holy, set apart for you, my master, ready to me from within and make me holy purify my heart cleanse me from my sin deep within refine as is to be is to be holy set apart for you lord i choose to be holy set apart for you my master I am ready to do your will. Make me ready to do your will. We want to be holy just as he's holy. We want to be righteous before a righteous king. We want to be gracefully broken. Hallelujah. That's our cry. That's our desire. Oh, thank you, Lord. Holiness, holiness is what I long for. Holiness is what I need. What do you want for me? Oh, yeah. yeah everybody sing. Holiness, holiness. Come on, tell him. That's what you want. 
righteousness, righteousness is what I long for. Oh, righteousness is what. Each time. 
doesn't matter how far I've gone your grace is always enough it'll always reach far enough for me hallelujah
verse again. I'm forgiven. I'm forgiven because we were forsaken. I'm accepted. You were.
we bless your name, God. Let our lives honor you, Jesus. In everything we do, let it be an honor to you. Change my heart, oh God, make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God, may I be like you. Change my heart, oh
Almighty, O holy and merciful Savior, thou most worthy judge, eternal, suffer us not at our last hour for any pain of death for, to fall upon thee. For as much as it please Almighty God in his wise providence to take out of this world the soul of our deceased sister, We therefore commit our body to the herd, to the earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, looking for the general resurrection in the last day, in the light of his glorious majesty to judge the world. The earth and the sea shall give up their dead, and the corruptible body of those that slept in him shall be changed in a moment, and make like unto his own glorious body according to his mighty works wherein he is able to subdue all things. Praise the Lord, the workmen will um, put on this stuff and... Sangsters! Can we leave the program? Hello, hello! So we better land on them. Let me see them. Land on. Lady MacLeod. Where's Lady MacLeod? It's the Barbara. Come, no, come, come, come. Start on song and April. Where's Lady MacLeod and others? Yes. Lady McLeod, we want your voice over here. We need your voice over here. Yeah. 
Go with me in the day. No, I'm going to go with the right. You are